So look, bro. Uh, another Tommy G video. Just waiting to do one of these. Bro dropped a couple. This is what y'all got to do or what y'all got to stop doing. Understand this. I know when the homie dropped. You know what I'm saying? Um, y'all got to stop DMing me. Ghost Tommy G drop. Ghost Tommy G drop. I understand that. But if you watch the video already, bro, just wait on the reaction. I get there. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, though. Get your popcorn, get what you need to get to get ready, get your booty boop, because I think I'm going to like this one. It say inside the theft capital of America. Sound like home to me. I told y'all, I done hit every gas station in the northern hemisphere. I'm not. <laughs> bro, I promise y'all, bro. But anyway, 10,000 likes for your boy, man. We finna go up. Shout out, Tommy. Shit, too. We go that a stolen, he ain't buy that. Across the country. We go that a stolen. Shit, too. 41 millimeter. Rolex, yes, sir. I got that same watch. It's two tone, though. You know what I'm saying? It's gold with the black. Then I got the big brother. The Yacht Master and all go with the... I love watches, bro. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. I love watches, bro. We call that a stolen year. Ain't buy that. Across the country, people are talking about crime in the Bay Area, specifically San Francisco. We're in San Francisco, theft capital of the world. It's getting crazy out here. Bro, I did a video on my boy Channel 5. That's his name, right? I don't know that fool's name, but he did one in San Francisco. I promise you, it's one of the most hilarious videos I ever did in my life. But San Francisco squad, um, Gazi Empire, the label. And my guys, man, I got a couple vlogs. If you go to DJ Go's vlogs, I'm walking around San Francisco, bro. And when I tell you, that's one of the cold exp experiences I had, my nigga. I've been out there like five times. All five times I vlogged it, bro. With San Francisco, it's a different world. But one thing about California, wherever the ghost broke, like wherever I go, bro, nothing but love, man. NBA. What's the biggest haul you've ever had? They call me the high speed specialist. <laughs> I'm getting away from choppers. I swear to God, you really look like a cop right now. <laughs> I'm not here lying, I swear to God. Overall theft in America seems to be dramatically on the rise, and no city better exemplifies this than San Francisco. Another brazen theft at a San Francisco drugstore. It's happened again. Four women run off after stealing from the CVS pharmacy. Two yeah. million dollars worth of goods suspected to be stolen out of San Francisco. Every day in Bay Area news, you can read stories about car theft, retail theft, robberies, and more. San Francisco was once one of America's golden cities, but the crime here is so wild that newspapers and locals have started referring to this place. Yep, that image right there, bro. It's golden cities, but the crime here. This video right here, when I told y'all I did the Channel 5 uh, video, bro, in the middle of traffic, there's not no parked car. His car wasn't even parked. They waiting at a light in the middle of traffic. These fools hopped out the car, broke the back window, of the other car, bro. Took whatever's out the back window while they are in traffic, hopped in their car and went the opposite way. On my mama, rest in peace, I would have shot all them niggas in that car. I'm not lying, bro. I don't know if y'all ever been stolen from before, but you feel violated as a motherfucker, right? I've been stolen from. My sister, like, uh, yeah, everybody know my sister on drugs real bad. It's not no secret, you know what I'm saying? Um. Yeah, she stole my kid's hoverboard, bro. I was... But it's my sister. That's what I'm saying. Feel it. Getting stolen from, feel violated. I never been robbed, though. Imagine being robbed, nigga. Yeah, you want to smoke them right then and there, bro. Right then and son, these fools be brave. You are so wild that newspapers and locals have started Look. referring to this place as Gotham City. Part of why this is happening are policies like Proposition 47. Essentially, what Prop 47 does is make any theft under $950 a misdemeanor where the person stealing faces little to no consequences. Under current state law, shoplifting merchandise valued under $950 is considered a misdemeanor. In turn, this has led people to make careers as... 
Look at CVS and Walgreens. Nine times out of ten, when you see somebody stealing on the CVS and Walgreens, they not stealing for themselves, they boosters. What they do is they go in there and they get a lot of nail polish remover, deodorant, soap, razors, and they come back to the hood and they sell it, bro. And I'm talking about for 90% off, nigga. I be loving them fools, but every time you see somebody stealing on a CVS, bro, I promise you, I promise you, when I say nine times out of 10, meaning if you see somebody stealing, they steal it for somebody else. I promise you, bro, they, they boosters. As professional thieves. In the Bay Area, these people are referred to bippers, boosters, and fences. Boosting yeah. is when someone goes into a store and takes out as much merchandise as they can get away with, and fences are the people that buy the stolen goods from the boosters and sell it into the black market. Authorities say they are... So what y'all call us who buy from the boosters? Are organized gangs of criminals who sell the merchandise to a fencing operation. The result of this has been costly for San Francisco. Retailers are pulling out left and right. In Union Square, once a high-profile destination, seven 17 retailers have pulled out since 2020. This includes places like Nordstrom, Office Depot, and Old Navy. Starbucks alone has closed at least 19 locations in the San Francisco area. Oh. The impact of this is that thousands of people no longer have a place to work. To take a closer look at this issue of theft, we dive into the underworld. In this episode, we explore black markets and we talk to bippers, boosters, fences, and guys that pull heists. Folks, an announcement you should know about a live event in Milwaukee at the Oriental Theater, March 7th, 7 p.m. I'm screening two documentaries, one on fentanyl, one on mercenaries, and the amazing part is every penny goes to supporting Milwaukee youth wrestling. Tickets are in my link below. We're crowdfunding change in Milwaukee. Can I? <laughs> Toppy G, should I say it or no? Should I say it or no? Shout out Milwaukee on the 7th. That's all I'm going to say. Shout out to Milwaukee on March 7th, man. It's finna go up. It's a good event that's cracking out there, bro. And uh, I think y'all should go. Y'all should go. Tommy G doing God's work out here. You know what I'm See you there. Uh, I got some drink and some perks that's up in the stew and they got me geeked up like a nerd. If a fuck nigga try to say something stupid my way, then I'm gonna even drink on the curb. I got a whole lot of motherfucking styles. I even got shit that you ain't never heard. Made in big California, I've never been on the San Francisco bridge, and I need to go and smoke a bunch Folks, that today beach. we're diving into San Francisco's theft culture. The amount of boosting and bipping and stealing and thievery is almost unbelievable. And we're gonna take you directly into that world today. And that's what we pleasure bring you on this channel. The real raw. So it's a different kind of hawking out there. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people, when you leave the store, <clears throat> you expect to get robbed if you're coming out of like a designer store, a Rolex store, whatever the case, right? Run up on you, take your shit. Now what people do, bro, is that's too much of a risk. A lot of people watching. You might go to jail, you rob somebody right in front of the store. There's cameras around, you know what I'm saying? So now what they do is, okay, you just came out of Rolex store. You just came out the Louis Vuitton store, all these bags, whoop de whoop whoop. We finna follow you until you stop at Walmart real quick, until you go in Starbucks real quick, until you go in Popeyes real quick. And we're gonna bust your windows and take your, it only take 10 seconds, bro. Bust your windows, take it out your car when you're not looking, when you come back. You're like, I was only gone for 10 seconds. How did they? Yeah. That's how it is out there, bro. It's cracking. It's everywhere but San Francisco. So he showed you in the beginning with the laws to where if it's not over $1,000, bro, you good. You straight. And what I mean by straight is basically no jail time. Like a little ticket that you ain't even got to pay. As long as you don't get caught over a certain time, like, you know, the ticket going to go away, squad. It's going to go away. Inside scoop of what's happening. We're about to go meet a crew of boosters who are outside of a Macy's. So, we'll see you there. They told me better pay me, I get you knocked off for a low price. Fuck niggas been hanging, come going up, they ain't got no life. One thing you're going to notice is a lot of boarded up places. A lot of businesses are saying it's not worth it being in San Francisco anymore. A lot of retail places are closing up 
because of all the thievery. San Francisco's once bustling downtown streets still struggling to bounce back as retailers continue to flee. A lot of retailers have been pulling out of the city. In the past few weeks, Westfield well, announced out there it's giving up its prominent downtown mall location, while AT&T revealed it is closing its flagship store in the city. This is a place you don't want to leave valuables in your car. Next is the Apple Store, bro. People in San Francisco, <laughs> San Francisco, what they do, squad. Y'all know how y'all walk in the Apple Store? Y'all see all the phones on the desk for display? That's tied down with that little, uh, that wire with the, you know what I'm saying? All into the desk. You can't. Man, these fools is taking demo phones. And I ain't saying they sneak robbing. And I'm talking about it be up what? We open at 9 o'clock in the morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. One o'clock is probably the busiest. Two o'clock is probably the busiest. They running in the store, bro, with 50, 60, 70 customers in the store with just a mask on. They taking everything in front of everybody. Ain't nobody doing nothing. Nobody doing nothing. I wouldn't either. Ain't my property. I just work here. But still, squad, the fools is bold when it comes to stealing. And when you think about it, stealing, not robbing somebody. I'm talking about stealing. It's probably the smallest crime, the smallest amount of time, the most pettiest crime you could do when it comes to California. I'm being real. I'm being real. We're looking into bipping and boosting. Oh my God. Is All it right. crazy here? It's pretty crazy. You have know, you they... ever had your car windows? Me personally, no. Do you know people that have their car windows smashed? Most definitely. What do you think about that? Way to survive out here, I guess. I mean, as long as you know what you're doing, keeping it straight, you know the right people, you should be good. No, the right people don't mean nothing. You know, it seals your uh -huh. phone charger, your phone, all your stuff. Yeah. What should happen to that person? If I can find him, man, it's over with for him. <laughs> nothing with the police? Hell no, we never get the police. Bro, not doing nothing. If I can find him, it's over for him. What you gonna do? Say, give it back? He's saying the police ain't gonna do nothing, but he'll still call the police, bro. What bro doing? Look like a nice kid. Chill out. You know what I'm saying? You got to look like you at work. Lying. Are you pretty boy? Like, come on, bro. What you mean it's over for him? What if it's two of them? And they look like they just ready to risk it all. You on camera, bro. Stop for the cap. I mean, stop the cap for the cap. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would have been like, uh, hey. Hey, how big was that? <laughs> what you would do to him? It all depends. If I, I so we talking if I had a gun or not? Like, bro, somebody still say I want to beat him. I mean, I want to pop him. If it come down to it, you got to beat bro up. You got to squabble. But imagine somebody stealing your stuff and you try to fight it for him, he still beat your ass. <laughs> you got those just throw in your ass. You didn't even get robbed. You got those just throw in, beat up for what? Like, chill out. Why? They won't do nothing anyway. He talk when he laugh. I mean, he laugh when he talk. How you doing? Yeah, bro. Nice to meet you. You too, Bob. So this place is crawling with police. I don't know how anyone's gonna nothing. get this job done. I would be deterred. If I had this much police, I would be deterred. This mm. is ballsy. I was expecting it to be a lot easier, but this actually seems like it's kind of difficult. I've never done any boosting before, but I'm looking at Macy's and there's security guards and police everywhere. Uh -huh. Is that normal? Absolutely. It seems like it's a high pressure situation. It doesn't seem as easy as I was picturing, which is just walk in, take it, and Look. leave. <laughs> Honestly, with some situations, <laughs> it depends, a trash you know, it depends on what the, the boosting style is. You know, some people are called gorilla boosters and they don't care. You know, they'll they'll beep on the way out. So they'll just run in there, grab it, and um, they're gone. If I'm walking out with an armful of Patagonia jackets, uh -huh. can someone stop? They can stop you. You know, it depends on the person. Some people have like security, like Dix has security. They might say something to you. They're not going to chase you out the door. This is like a small army of police officers. <laughs> if I was in the business of being a professional oh, thief, shit. I'd be like, ah, I think I'm going to put my two weeks in today and I'll just do something <laughs> else. Yeah, that's hot. You feel me? 
a lot of the boosters too are not really prone to like be hitting it in the city like that. A lot of people be jumping BART. They hit the suburbs? Yeah, they hit Emeryville, Dublin, Richmond, you know, all those different places out there, Oakland. And then they go and they do it like that and then they hit the BART, they come back and then they go to the market and they sell it there. Do you ever feel Damn. bad when you're boosting? Like, do you ever feel like, shit, this isn't the right thing to do? I'm not the booster, I'm the fence. I'm the one who buys it, you know, okay. and then I flip it. There's a lot of retail stores shutting down in San Francisco. Honestly, bro, when I used to steal like that, like, I never took it into consideration to what I'm doing to somebody else or... To me, it was just like I'm stealing from the company. It don't matter what I take out the store, you're still gonna get paid every two weeks, you know what I'm saying? It don't matter if I hit the store every day for 50 years straight, they will never come at you and say, hey, we gotta dock your pay because they keep stealing from the store. They're not gonna do that, bro. It's just, I never was the type to, I'm not finna put a gun in your face and rob you, bro. You know what I'm saying? I think that, I just know what I'd do to a fool if it would've happened to me. And I'm the perfect, perfect, perfect example of not treat people how you wanna be treated, but at the same time, bro, If you at work and I rob your house, I just stole from you, bro. I, I'm just trying to get a lick real quick. I ain't trying to hurt nobody. I'm out here starving. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna put no gun in your face, try to smoke you. My gun end up jamming. You smoke me. And then we, you know what I'm saying? I rob stores, houses, cars. Um. <laughs> I never, I, w I was young, squad. I was young, man, and I really thought that was the way. And if you ain't got no, my pops got life when I was 10. No big homies. My uncles was game bangers. Some of them was smokers. Like if you ain't got, if you can't mature with the, like on your own, which was, the f fact with a lot of people. And I'm talking about really maturing on your own, like, no, this shit ain't right. I know I ain't supposed to be doing this, man. I'm not finna do this with the woo woo. I didn't get that mindset till I was 28. That's why I be talking to y'all all the time, but I'm not finna tell y'all nothing wrong. That's why I like reacting to videos. I can speak on rappers, but then that's not, I can't give y'all no game if something happened with Carisha or something happened with Jay-Z, it's just music shit. But when I react to videos, it's always different scenarios. And I promise y'all, if I tell y'all something, I have been through it. I have, and I wouldn't tell y'all nothing wrong. I don't care how it make me sound. I told y'all the stories when I got beat up. I told y'all the stories when I was homeless. I told y'all the stories when I got evicted, when my car got impounded, when I got fired, when I lost my kids because I was broke. I'm just telling y'all about the losses, fuck the wins. I'm telling y'all about the losses, meaning I don't care what nobody think about me. I am good within myself now. And I didn't get like that till I was 28 years old, bro. I hope y'all get it younger. I do. I do. A lot of stuff we do while we young ain't the way we just don't know. And if we older and we still doing it, we just don't know. Let me tell y'all, like, a real fact. You can meet... A 35-year-old boy and a 21-year-old man, if you get what I'm saying. Maturity, man. Maturity. Just go right now. Obviously, the city knows it's going on, and there is some type of economy that it's working for them. The city would be scared to shut down boosting completely for all the different people because then they would be worried about civilians getting attacked, you know, robbed, the cars getting dipped, those things like that. That's so why they have the market open so, like that. So basically, if people can steal from like Dick's Sporting Goods, it's a lot less dangerous than stealing from individuals. Is that the idea? Yes, yeah. they're getting that insurance for those lost, uh, lost products. Dick's Sporting Goods closes. When Walmart closes, Exactly like you saw this in Chicago, uh -huh. there was just too much theft, and now people that depend on that place for their groceries, they're out of luck. What do you think about that? That's extremely unfortunate. I think there's other things going on. I don't think that solely 
that is just closing down just because of the theft numbers. Because then if that was the case, their insurance is garbage. That's a mustache, man. I'm working on it too. You'll get there one day, bro. You know, Morley, is it wrong? Yeah, you know it's wrong. How y'all not know Tommy G? It's going on in the world that's morally wrong. If you look at the world today and you think, is the world morally right or morally wrong? Chances are, it's more morally wrong. That's a fire. Are you familiar with the term biffing? Yes. What does that mean to you? Breaking a car window and grabbing stuff out of a car. It is a problem in the city. In particular areas, you just don't uh, don't park your car and expect it to be safe. Have you ever been biffed before? Yes. What ran through your head after that? Why do I have to deal with this? I live in one of the richest cities in the world. What should happen mm. to biffers? Swift and short punishment. The reason it's a problem is uh, there are no consequences. Well, there's money, there's crime, like my boy. Do you feel the people in charge in San Francisco are doing a good job? I would say no. The, the people in charge of San Francisco are captured by ideology rather than what's actually practically beneficial for the residents of the city. We head to an underground parking garage to talk to a Yeah, but at the same time, you got people. The city can only do so much, you know what I'm saying? It, it's You got so many offic officials that got to watch millions of people in the city. But at the same time, like I was going to say, bro, you can't be that dumb to leave your Louis Vuitton purse on the seat. You can't be that dumb to leave your Cartier glasses on the dashboard. People walk by cars, looking cars, just to break in them, bro. We used to go to the Great Western Forum, bro, in the Staples Center when they moved. The Rose Bowl, the Coliseum. If it's a game, we for sure going up there, not because we want to watch it. We ain't finna buy no tickets. We walking past every car, bro, not to break no windows. Not to look in it to see, oh, yeah, uh, I never broke a window to get in the car in my life. I promise y'all, on my mama rest in peace, I never have. But we would walk the whole parking lot and check each door, open the door, open the door. See, and I promise you, you'll get like 50, 50 people leave their car doors open at a stadium for some reason, bro. Y'all got to stop being so dumb. You got people out here that's licking, especially if you got a nice car, bro. You be walking the parking lot, see all these busted cars, and be like, hey, bro, that Maybach over there. All three of y'all running over there. You know what I'm saying? And then you want to leave it open, or you want to leave the Louis Vuitton bag on the seat. We in that. We in that. Can't be stupid, bro. People, well, I tell y'all, when you, this world is crazy. When you leave your house, and it's going on a different subject, but it's not a guarantee you're gonna make it back to your bed. Watch yourself, protect yourself, your family, so you can. This world is crazy, bro. Lady that is a full-time booster to learn more about her and her operation. Here's what we found out. I have to say, this is not what I expected to walk into. You look like you could be just going on lunch break from your office job and on a walk with your dog. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about yourself and how you got into the world. Of Imagine food. walking Life's your dog, been, but you put him in a stroller. I've had two jobs and they just didn't go very well. Um, and when you say us, you're talking about you and the dog? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah. Okay. She's my little mascot. She comes everywhere with me. She comes to work with me. She boosts with you. You need yeah, some Is she, is she almost like, part of the cover a little bit? <laughs> she's my sidekick. Yeah, no, she's like the very important thing. She has to run and play before I can take her in. Otherwise, she'll start whining and getting a little antsy. So usually by the time I go in there, she's passed out. And I just do is, you know, I take my time. She'll be sleeping and I take it in the fitting room. And then that's where I do my thing. When I go in the fitting rooms, I take. Bro, you finna be known as the lady with the dog. That's who be stealing. How the hell you gonna have a disguise on your face? But you pushing that dog, bro. We could put two and two together. Then you want to be on Tommy G. Just gonna get a million. All right, party already got a million. You the lady with the dog that steal, bro. We know who you is walking up in there with a stroller, with a man, you know what I'm saying? But the people is stupid. And people, they're like, half stupid and half dumb. What's that? Stum. 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 <laughs> this bitch is stupid.
everything out. Oh. And I fold it as flat as I can Stump. and I lay her bed on top of it. The only thing that sometimes is a little scary though is like she'll be sitting from here and all of a sudden she's a little sitting a little high. Bro, we don't but care about her. Let's talk space. about the stealing. There's so much stuff stuffed in there that she's <laughs> up a little bit. Yeah. So what do you look for when you're boosting? Like, are, um, is it a certain dollar amount or a certain type of product? If mm -hmm. you were to get something that's fifty bucks, you probably sell it for five, ten dollars. What's the biggest haul you've off. ever had? About um, maybe a little over a couple grand. Really? And yeah. what was that? What were the items? Cashmere, they run about two, three hundred dollars. Michael Kors, five, six, seven hundred dollars purses and stuff like that. What leads you to do this? Style. I would imagine this is a high pressure, high stress kind of job. Yeah, honestly, to survive, to be able to eat, to feed my dog. If you want to eat, you got to do what you got to do, really. There's a domino effect to this, right? Like, bro, how many of us risk in jail time to feed our dog? It's the first time I ever heard somebody still to feed their dog. No, if you poor and homeless and you can't barely eat, get a dog the leftovers. What I mean is, buy you a pizza, a medium pizza for like $8 from Domino's. Get them two slices. Or eat the whole, you get them, nobody steals for the dog, bro. She probably homeless. She said to survive, bro, she probably up here stealing and buying real dog food. When we ain't got no money, the dog eat the leftovers, bro. I ain't for no dog food. Y'all know how much dog food is? I got two right now. Them, that, that dog food is expensive, bro. Hold on. Real quick. I ain't gotta take my Tylenol PM squad. It's 4 o'clock in the morning. And, uh... I need to go to sleep after the video. I've been up since seven o'clock yesterday. That means in three hours, it's finna be 24 hours. And I don't know why I be standing up like that. I gotta take my son to school in the morning and get at least like two hours of sleep. You know what I'm saying? I hate when the people be like, you drink Aquafina, you drink Dasani, you drink Arrowhead, that's nasty. Man, water tastes the same. Here we go in the comments. No, it don't go. Bro, uh, this, 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 this my channel agree with me. They ain't gonna disagree with me on my own channel. Aquafina and Dasani taste the same. Arrowhead and Spring, whatever it is, bro. As long as it's purified, I mean, they got no parasites. We good, right? Say we want to taste the same. Be the brokest food that I don't. I don't drink Arrowhead. I drink Dasani. Man, you drink tap for real. Don't don't get on here trying to front food like. We... Like I know there are a lot of retail stores have shut in San Francisco, and there's people there that depend on that full time money to, for their family. If someone lost their job because the place had to close down because of boosting, how do you feel about it? It definitely sucks. I I'd have to go outside the city. That takes a little bit longer. It takes a lot of time out of the day, and you don't get as much. Look, it's inconvenient for her, huh? <laughs> it's inconvenient for you, huh? Right, you really want. Are there any consequences for doing this? There's a kind of open season. You can kind of just get away with it. There's a maximum of up to nine hundred and fifty dollars. Everybody you know it. So do you usually try and take under that amount? To be honest, I don't really pay attention. How many She's days a week about do you go do this? You know, San Francisco is pretty expensive out here, so sometimes every day. All right, guys. I think it's time to go hit the streets and go to the black market. I'll see you there. Next, we talk to a kid named Tip. He's a San Francisco local, and he takes us around the black market market to show us the ins and outs of it. Here's what we found. They are organized teams of criminals who sell the merchandise to a fencing operation. So about three, four blocks away from 16th and Mid. Police is cap, bro. I don't care what nobody say. All they gotta do is take 10 units, sit them every, what? 100 feet, 200 feet on a black market block. They shutting it down. Police wanted to shut all this down, they can, bro. I don't care what nobody say. If they wanted to shut it down, they can. They just don't. Because if we shut it down, how are we going to get these arrests? Because they arrest the people every day over it. Even though it's minor, they still get it. The police can shut down a city if they want to, bro. There's no way in hell you can go to this city and this spot been known for dealing the most weight in the world for the last 50 years. This one area, this one hood. It's no way you can go to a city 
and this pro and this block been having prostitution ran on it 24 hours for the last 20 years. Come on, man. Police wanted to shut it down. They can't. Man. Oh, Mission, which is one of the primary there. black market areas Pol the in San Francisco. We're gonna hit the streets and show you what we see. Good to meet you. Hello. How you nice doing? Nice to meet you, man. All good. I'm just gonna show you all a little insides of how shit is out here. It's really hot right now, though. It's usually look at this, bro. Look at this. I'm just gonna show you all a little insides of how shit is. Look at this, squad. In LA, we used to sell our rap CDs. If you stand in front of a business selling your CDs, bro. Police pulling up, hey, shut that down. What you doing? You ain't even got a whole display like you. They got a store outside, squad. You stand in there just in your hoodie with a backpack, just like, hey, bro, I got the weed. Hey, you can't be doing that. The police know damn well these fools ain't got no business license. This nigga comfortable, like, comfortable enough to bring a chair, a desk out there, sitting out. He got products knowing he stole. The police roll by it and don't do nothing, squad. They in on it. That's why they dumb down the crime. Like, look, you're still uh, $949 worth. We got it. We, you, you still $950, you going to jail. We got to do something. We can't really be like Gotham City for real. You know what I'm saying? Police is cat. Niggas is cat. Out here, it's really hot right now, though. It usually be on like 16th mission. They all then migrated up here. As you can see, the police just took everybody off. So, was there just a sweep just before we came here? Just right now, right now. Let's go check it out. Let's oh, they, they did. They did. They did. My bad. Migrated everyone out of here. You see how they all look. A lot of the fellas that speak. Well, not my bad. Because if they the really wanted to do it. And migrated everyone. Why they just chilling in the back like that? Why everybody's selling stolen goods and buying stolen goods? Well, come on, bro. I ain't doing nothing about it. He got a smile on his face. Come on, man. Oh, look. A lot of the fellas that speak Spanish are the guys that run this shit around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they're on the speaking. Everybody who come out here, who the they know, run every day in California. They come, like, right here. This country. We need to set up. Whatever you need. So if I want to get a Patagonia jacket, Nikes, this is the spot to come. This is the spot. Okay. See, everything was just laid out, set up on the floor, until the cops just came like five minutes away. Then you said yeah, you'll get it by tomorrow. Whatever you need, straight up. So how easy is it to find stuff around here? Like if I'm looking to go Christmas shopping for the whole family, is this the spot to look? All you gotta do is come in, like come no in the day before, tell us what you need, get an order for you. You look dumb you. as hell. Sometimes you get lucky and you'll come here. What this fool got be, on? Like, things that Louis you bag. Normally Gucci put belt, in stockings Gucci or, or give like a small gift. Maybe even sometimes there'll be a big gift. Tell me the difference between retail price and what I can get out here. They pay 30%. Okay, so let's say a purse was like 300 out of store. At most, $70 for it. Wow. It's, it's a competitive market because uh, they buy it, put it in their storage unit, and then go to the store market and sell it for more. You know? So it's easier for us to put it online, but a lot of people use drugs, and it's easier to do it that way. There's a few steps You're in the right, chain, like there's the no booster, money. the fencer. Is you there another part of the chain too, or is that pretty much it? Really. Would you say it's a risky? business or is it in San Francisco is it easy it's definitely risky because you're uh, you're definitely building Only a bad background you know what I'm saying yeah. boosting and stuff like that I'm trying to get a cheap bag it's nice for me but like the guy that works at Dick's Sporting Goods 40 hours a week and don't be that security that. guard things are disappearing right like the retail scene is disappearing around we're here we're getting laid off because the, the, the more stuff disappearing less employees you need a lot of people around here don't understand like the gangs around here that tax all these people yeah. selling out here too if you don't pay them that money for that tax that they're asking for then they jump you and take your stuff certain areas our gang territory. When you look at the black market and the drug trade, we are talking multi-million dollar revenue streams. And these are not ran by petty criminals. These are ran by sophisticated criminal organizations. The two main ones that the locals told us about were the Mexicans and the Hondurans. And in fact, business has been so good for the Hondurans that there's been a big immigration push to San Francisco to live there. And if you visit mm. Honduras, you're liable to find little kids running around in San Francisco 49er jerseys and Steph Curry jerseys too. Oh, what bro, that, the people doing the boost? That ad is red. Why they got people in a, huh? Fun. <laughs> I was just gonna say fun fact, but I'm not even gonna say that about California. <laughs> but that is crazy, squad. Why they got them running around in Niner jerseys, Steph Curry jerseys for what? For what, bro? That, that to mark them? Like, uh, tell me why. Would you say are supporting their habit? 80 to 90. The only people that are not sitting here boosting for drug money is like the ones that are hella young, like kids. That are doing it for the They're rush. doing it for the rush and for the money because it's fast, easy for money. Well, they don't have to get jobs. Christmas like price. her. 
What she doing it for the drugs. I mean, yeah, this would be a great place to go Christmas shopping. Watch that game. It's up here selling Christmas lights in February, bro. We don't give it this day. Tommy G don't do Yande videos like me. I could do a video in November and go drop it till February. That's how I get out, bro. This is not a Yande video. What's a Yande video? Look it up. What do Yande mean? It'll give you the definition. Y-O-N-D-A-Y. -Y. Anyway, Tommy G don't do Yande videos, bro. She's selling Christmas lights in February. <laughs> the smokers. <laughs> She a smoker, bro. It's like the only ones that don't do it for the crack and the drugs for real is the kids. Other than that, they smoking. He did not say besides me, so he might be a smoker too. Oh boy, with all that fake drip on, just say, hey, bro. Well, not me. He's a smoker too. They all be smoking. That's why they kicking it together. Would you be right there standing with a smoker if you didn't smoke? They're not related. She, why he masking and, oh boy, black, or he mixed with something? He mixed in three different races. Well, probably like six different ones, because this fool look like he mixed with a lot, but I'm talking about, oh boy, the black. <laughs> but anyway, squad, they all smokers. Tommy G know who the camera because, like I said, a lot of gangs are in this area, and if they see you with a camera out here, it may not be wise to have it out. You feel me? Stay on your toes around for that. You got the lean. That's a, that's one of the signs right there. I was the, out there with my camera everywhere. You just walk by and get contact with it. This is the corner we had to pee in two minutes ago. It's easy to notice some of the major effects of theft, like retail stores leaving. But some of the minor things I notice is it's damn near impossible to find a bathroom to pee in in San Francisco. Business owners just don't want to deal with homeless people going in their bathrooms and doing God knows what. And the result of this is I almost pissed my pants a few times in San doing Francisco. Doing drugs. If there is a place in San Francisco with a public bathroom, it's behind a keypad because that's how much sketchy shit goes on in the bathroom. So it's a hard place to take care of your business. Because the McDonald's did not have a it's spot to go. You might walk in, whole alley might be full with nothing but dope I'm from corner to bottom, whole alley. Crazy dangerous. Human shit? Human shit, for surely. Not dog shit. Send your kids to school and they're. Corner to bottom? I ain't never heard that logic. He said from the corner to the. Is it the trees? Because I was just smoking a little. Hey, what the homie say? Alley might be full with nothing but dope fiend. I'm from corner to bottom, whole alley. Crazy dangerous. Human shit? Human shit, for surely. Not dog shit. Send your kids to school and uh, they're walking through. The I mean, yeah. You, you gotta know. walk past everyone. And it's crazy, crazy because, like, school programs, they bring their kids all through it. Like, they have to. Like, you know, there's some people who will come by and tell them, kids, come and put it up, put it by. They, we don't give a f da da da. Kids come by, <laughs> yep. still smoking maybe possible to get contact high like you never know you know yeah don't it's sign sad, that field trip really slip if your kids kind of go to elementary san francisco bro you don't want them around also smokers be a spot for drugs because i think it's really interconnected there's all kind of thieves they're the thieves who's trying to get high to support their habit there's the thieves who's actually getting money and doing something with it then there's just the thieves who's still in for their own use personal use like like people are walking a whole grocery store walk right i know because i'll be stealing like hey y'all <laughs> stealing i'm stealing a butt yeah. one of them even took the time to explain why he simply didn't pay <laughs> police might just take <laughs> in san francisco bro what i look like in san francisco bro imagine 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 you stealing somewhere right and i'm talking about you steal 300 dollars worth of stuff and then the store called the police this guy just took the whole batch of Snickers. He took some deodorant and some mouthwash. Okay, man, we'll get somebody over there. They not coming for hours, bro. For hours. Maybe even the next day. For the simple fact, they know a boy probably gone, whoever stole it. They know if they pull up, he ain't going to get no jail time. It's just a waste of time. But they still eventually gonna come out because they gotta do the report, bro. You can't call the police and they just not come. Let me bring that back. I live in California. Well, not no more. I'm in Vegas now. But you call the police. Sometimes they just won't come. And they will tell you they have more important shit to do. I promise you, bro. They will tell you, like, yeah, we was, but then somebody got smoked, so. 
get some rest and sleep on it. You'll be okay tomorrow. <laughs> I promise you, bro. The items back in Terry to get the f out of here. Even if you steal more than a thousand dollars. It almost makes it like like a game. Like, okay, I'm gonna go in there, I'm yeah. getting nine hundred and fifty dollars <laughs> worth of shit and I'm literally out. like people count it and add up. I know personally, so Can you go home and feel good about it, like I did my job. You don't care, account, what? I, I got my money but I feel a little like not so good about it. Truth be told, I got my money, I don't feel too good about it. The other me is I'm happy, you know, I got my money, I don't give a f what I did to get my money, I got it. $15, dollars oh, so, some, some, some boosted like perfume. It, so what does this go for? He want 15 in the store, you know how much that's a hundred and up for sure. Let me just get right, OG. Hey, hey. Hey, right, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> you just walked past the guy that had some boosted. I would have socked that fool. I would have socked that fool, bro. That's what you that hey, hey, when you set it on the street, that's what you might get. A sample you didn't want to give, bro. He said, hey, hey, don't do that. Don't do that. Bro knew who to do that to. Let's keep it 100. He knew who to do that to. I would have socked that. Man. Cologne? I just uh, got fresh for free now. It be like that. It be like that. Cross the street. This is a little inside shit. Yeah. This is like when the dippers. Fuck it. This is when niggas go hit when they bit. You get a motherfucking uh, passport. Uh, I'm saying anything. Some papers with them. Police lap and already it's just crawling. Like way more people. Alright, I ain't buying no soda, but I'll get some milk. Jewels, shampoo, soap, Tylenol, they were mad that it was people. Some pills for back pain. This is a medical center. Ooh. The story um comprando uh cautious para uh para Navidad, okay, okay, okay. Jordan. Ten you the eight media. Eight to the eight media. It's an eight and a half. What's <laughs> the next guy that's going to take us in a little bit deeper? <laughs> Put me on TikTok. Good bro, fresh though. I swear to God, you really look like a cop right now. <laughs> I'm not here lying, I swear to God. When I seen y'all across the street looking, I was like, that's a narc. I'm like, oh no, gosh. Tommy G, I can't forget Tommy G. How can you tell who's a booster and who's not? But they go have a big bag. The real boosters, this is the inside. They go have temp for you in they bag. So when you walk out, and if it do got a beeper on it, it don't sense with the temp for it. Who will run out of a Safeway with fucking a garbage bag full of Thai pods. Might go get 500 out of one Safeway. So now they finna go do another Safeway, another garbage bag, 500. You just made $1,000 in less than an hour. Their store security can't do shit, right? They can't touch you. They can't say nothing. It's the, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. That's one of my pet peeves. That's one of my pet peeves. We got a we gotta clean earth, guys. We got a nice earth. Hey, bro. Bro, with the wrong city be trying to clean up. You, you did not make a difference. Is this a common place for boosting? Absolutely crazy. For sure. Is that yeah. Just every bag he got full. All those floors up there, that's dark. That used to be Nordstrom. When people are saying boosting doesn't have a price, well, this is one of the... In my vlog, I was in that exact mall. In my vlog, I was in that exact mall, and that mall is huge, bro. I was tripping. That mall is huge, bro. That, that mall is huge. Huge. The price is that it's just simply too expensive to do business. The sad reality is there's lots of full-time employees that don't have a place to work no more. Oh, Hold on, yeah. Yeah. Real gays from everywhere. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Real study deal shit. They might run into your worst enemy in this month. Yeah. It is too. <laughs> 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 We call that a stoli, he ain't buy that, nigga. That's when you think Rolex, you either think like rich businessman or rapper, yeah. and when you see just their average guy rolling around in a Rolex, that's kind of crazy. Like, I, I high favorite. school. Like, the little niggas who just walk by, they probably got 20, 30, 40,000 somewhere in high school. Like, if you in San Francisco with no money and no motion, it's sad. You can't just walk in and open it. Because if you did, it'd be 10 niggas running in, taking everything in front of the straight out the door right there. You notice a lot of these stores invest in security 
security guards, but it doesn't seem to be stopping the stealing. Here are a couple of reasons why. One, it's arguably cheaper to let them steal a few things than it is to pay for more muscle to guard it. The other thing to factor in is the liability for the store. If they do stop somebody and there's an altercation, a fight, someone gets shot, it's just not worth it. And from the employee standpoint, that's what I was if telling CVS you is paying you $14 an hour and the guy that's stealing from you might have a gun, is it really worth trying to stop him? Probably Never. not. Our next contact, Big Smacks, takes us deeper into the tenderloin and wants to introduce us to his Mexican pals, the Migos, who run shit. The real Migos. How you doing? Oh, yeah, right. This shit's so watered down, bro. They just cleared out all the Dauphines and all the Hondos. Gigi and Peng, I wish you got more of an accurate feel of what's happening in the city, especially since the fentanyl is coming from China. I thought it might be good for you to see. Come on, you go like a hundred Oh Dauphine, man, who bro. you just blasted, Don Migos? just telling it. Trying to get it off to the Migos, and the Migos is buying it. They sending that shit back home. And Migos are Mexicans. Okay. And is this cartel the, shit we're getting into? The Hondurians. That's a whole other story. That's, oh, okay. that's definitely not fight some cartel shit. We ain't even talk about that. Mexicans don't fuck with the Hondurians. Out here with the family, just chilling in space, void, mystery, Cold doing some science. Raining. Doing some science? Yeah. Boy out here pushing a stroller with nothing in it. He probably just walked his way, probably just, you feel me, smoking that shit or on some shit. Fat man. Fat man, most likely. Right here, right My boy pushing his stroller with nothing in it. Right now. right now, for sure, active. Different territories up here type shit. We got the Honduras. Separated. The Honduras got their little area. The blacks got theirs. And then you got the uh, the Mexicans. And then you got the Arabs. This is everyday shit right here, bro. You got the Asians. They so smart, they get free shit and sell it. And that Cisco oil did. is supplied by the nonprofit. Exactly. That's crazy that's to crazy. me. That's crazy. That's what I'm saying. Do you think that's a bad move for taxpayer money to be? Yeah. That's why I would never get a job. Ever. <laughs> I, 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 look at this young lady. She probably, she probably around our age. It's food bad and chill. That's all shitting over there? Just got done shitting. We're about to meet some other pals who really run the market. The Mexican. Hello, <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. Hey, que pasa, mi hombre? Tommy G, eh? Everybody know Tommy Come G. Come on, there you go, you go. You gonna blur her face out? <laughs> hey, wait, what happened to the camera? Hey, wait, no. Uh, no, no, no. It's, we we shoot documentary. No, I know. Hey, I got you, bro. It's just, he, he my YouTuber. You know? See you guys. They've been knowing me since I was a young, since I was a young nigga, like running around, spin, snatching phones and shit. Coming to sell that shit to them. Have you ever felt bad after bipping somebody? I ain't gonna lie, nope. What if it's a single mom and she can't afford to fix her windows? I wouldn't know if it's a single mom or not. If yeah. I don't see it, I would not not feel. You feel me? I, I can't. I can't feel no type of way. If I just see the car with her person there, I'm taking it. You just try not to think about who am I? Told y'all. Leaving your purse in the car, leaving any bag, leaving anything that's visible on the seats, bro. They breaking in your car. And I'm not just talking about San Francisco. That's every state and every city in America. Don't leave it in the car, bro. Might be. Exactly. Hey, He out here trying to sell his little game. I just bought it for some weed. Is there a fight hat? Hey, bro, what's crazier? New York and San Francisco. You be randomly vlogging out there, bro. And, and you you will run into this. You know what I'm saying? You will run into this. What's crazier? San Francisco or New York? Don't stop. 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 Don't in this last segment, we interview Jerry, a professional thief who has done an assortment of wild crimes, from heists, to getting ATMs, to robbing other criminal organizations. This guy gives us an inside look about the mentality of pulling a heist. This looks so nice at night. Is there a code name that like Jerry, you wanna go by or? Yeah, you go by Jerry. So I'm here with Jerry. What kind of stuff do you get into? We do big We run into warehouses. It don't matter anywhere that I got some money, we take safes, ATMs. 
Pay you take an ATM? Yup. You literally drive up to a bank and take the ATM? Not from the bank. You go to gas stations and stuff. Or like apartment lobbies. Like the barbershop. Like the to it and just drag it out. What's the most you ever gotten from an ATM play? 15,000. 10,000. Off one. It'd be so nice to do like five of them. Tell me about the warehouse heist. You go to a warehouse, you take valuable things. Take a lot of valuable things. Take marijuana, anything that brings you money. So California has a lot of grow houses. Oh, yeah. Even though it's legal weed, you can steal it all and sell it on the black market. Or you sell, how does that work? I got buyers for them everywhere, out of state. 500 piece, 1,000 piece, they're all getting sold the next day. I hit a watch out here in the Bay. Richard Milley sold it right away for 80,000. Broad daylight. I'm sure that man worked hard for his Richard Milley. Is there any way you feel about taking that from him? No, I don't feel bad for nobody. How do you feel at the end of the day after pulling one of your jobs? I feel great. I feel the blood pumping. I feel the money in my pocket. I come back to all my niggas, pass out some money. Go get some money to my grandma and stuff. Make sure everybody good in the hood. Is what you do dangerous? Oh, it's really dangerous. A lot of people got shot. Is there a story you have of uh, a situation that went wrong or like a close call? We get into a lot of shit with the police. High speeds. They call me the high speed specialist. <laughs> okay. And every every high speed I'm on, we get in the way. No matter. Hey, bro, is this fool cap? Do police pursue at high speeds or is there a certain speed limit that they stop oh, chasing? No. It depends on the city you're in. What city has the the weakest police reputation? Bro said he we getting away from choppers. That mean y'all got away from a few. He didn't say we got away from a helicopter before. I don't see, I do a lot of videos on police. You ain't getting away with no chopping. Oakland. Really? Oakland, San Francisco. Because the impression I get from a lot of people that do this kind of stuff is it's almost open season. Like there's very little consequences and it's kind of easy to get away from. For a bipping, there's, there's, there's very minimal consequences. Unless you, you get into a bipping, like you really hurt somebody on the bip mission. Do you know people that have gotten hurt bipping? Like the person defended themselves or yeah, shot back course. or defended yeah. their car? Yeah, one of my little niggas was on a bipping mission. And the person, but squad, I seem like he had everything that happened to him out of every segment in this video. Y'all know how Tommy G had the first segment, the second segment, the third segment. We could talking to this fool. To... It's bro, I can't say he capped, but I can't say he told the truth either. Nigga. He he sound like it just he been in every situation. He even got away from a helicopter a few times, bro. And he bits are shooting at him, and it didn't go well. You know what I'm saying? Are you ever nervous before you no. do this? I never get nervous. Just never get nervous? I never got Come nervous on, in my life, really. I mean, I lost a lot of people. I'm like cold. Blue. I'm not saying he me. I'm not saying he me at all. But y'all know I'll be boxing, bro. And before every fight, every sparring match, I should say, I'm nervous. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Before every street fight, I'm nervous. Now, to run from the police, hitting all these slicks, I didn't hit house slicks with nobody in the house. I'm nervous. Every time I did a cry, every time I did something that I don't do every day, bro, that gotta do with jail time or gotta do with violence, I'm nervous right before I do it. I don't, I don't see how he said he, he what that say? I'm like cold blooded. Blooded. I don't got no remorse for nobody. Would you consider yourself a sociopath? Nah, not really. You I just mean, described but, yourself. You, know, you gotta do what you gotta do to make a living out here. I mean, as long as there's money in it, I'm in it. What's the biggest play you've ever pulled? The biggest play I really ever pulled. Watch you say over a hundred thousand. I already see where he going with this, bro. You so country. It was it was a half a million dollars. That's a Bro, this is the biggest gangster in America at this point. You never been, you ain't got caught for none of this. You hit a half a million dollar leg. Your little homies done did this, bro. You running from helicopters. You done did, oh, come on, man. Rob niggas for Richard Milley. You set it the next day. You robbed weed shots for pounds. Stole it the next day. Sold it out of town, bro. Come on, man. You don't ever get nervous. You don't, like, come on, man. Never seen nobody like this. A crazy amount of money. What kind of play is a five hundred thousand dollar play? Marijuana play. Found some cash. Found some marijuana. I'm the one that designs the whole thing. I just all visualize where the camera is, where to get in from, where to leave from, how to get in. The mastermind. You know, what, not, what to do and what not to do. He said I visualized the whole thing. No, just say you the mastermind, bro. And then we would have known about. Okay. He tell where people to leave. 
the cameras, everything you just described. Wow. And what's going through your head as you're doing this? I'm thinking about how good the money will look in my pocket. A lot of people in California think law enforcement has no power <laughs> anymore. Like, what do you think about that? I think it's true. Law enforcement don't really do shit. What's the longest a chase has ever lasted for you? 30, 40 minutes. Sounds like you enjoy your profession. Of course I enjoy it. So you kind of look forward to the days that you're about to do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where do you see yourself on the scale of good and evil? I'm real evil. Then I can also be a good person to the people that are good to me. Thank you, brother. And um, stay safe in those streets, okay? All right, folks. So you just got an inside look to the theft capital of America. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Tommy G, what he said. Thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see y'all next video. Y'all be cool. Y'all be careful. Take care of your kids, your girl, and your mama, nigga. Till next time, 100.